thought I'd show you what I have to start with. You can see that's much more of a neutral or maybe a little negative break on that bit. But that's a rough casting. This is the most dangerous time I'm trying to get all these bumps and everything off of them. And it gets a little bit better once you know for sure where all the high spots are. Just don't want to catch it. It's pretty well held down now. Went pretty tight. clamp the rest of the forward motion of the unit of the edge. Okay, it seems like I've finished cutting, but I've been surprised before. So what I'm going to do is take it out of gear and manually advance it across the face. A large cutting much wear in this old machine. I can see what it says digitally. The very first time I hit anything, was I set my zero, so now we're down 34 thousandths from that zero. And while it's, while it's, you know, I don't have full surface contact and I'm taking a little step overs, I'm going to go ahead and take another 20 thousandths just to get it across. Hold on. Okay, now we're up to 62. Went a little deeper. through this area. It's much harder up here on the surface. I can take a little bit more. I'm going to reach down here. That valve there controls the uh, Step over. Everything on here is controlled mechanically or hydraulically. These are the only four buttons there are on the whole machine. The top two 
control the motor up there for raising the column and uh, fast movement. The start button and then a stop button. Everything else is valves and hydraulically powered. Another problem with straight edges is you got a big area that's not supported. When you start getting out on that edge. Tense here when we're doing this, and you can't move around. So hold on. Alright. Take it out of gear and move it back over. And get it going, then I'll bring it into the workpiece by hand. kind of see what you start off with a rough casting and have to go on down see once you get into that area the, the 
the uh, chamfer is not very much, it starts tearing out on the big heavy cuts. So we'll grind that on down to keep that tear out minimized. On this end, it's ground the same depth, but you can see we haven't taken near as much off on this end. That one's still okay. Well, I think you got the idea. Starting off with a big old piece of cast metal that's dirty and uneven and turning it into a precision instrument. Alright, thanks for watching.